from Amber Cove. So we are currently in the Dominican Republic. This port was built by Carnival. So Carnival ships, Holland America ships, Princess ships, anything in the Carnival Corporation can dock here. We are currently sandwiched on this dock in between our ship, the Holland America Rotterdam, and the Carnival Mardi Gras, which we've been on twice. So we've got like two little touches of home right here. We are just gonna spend the day in the port this is a really cool port. There's a lot of shops. There's a giant pool. All the pools included. We're just gonna go check it out. All right, once you get through the store, you're gonna be greeted with all the different excursion information kiosks. You can pick. There's one, two, three, four of them sitting right here. Pick your excursions. If you haven't already got one booked, you can do that here. This port is basically split into two sections. When you come out of the port area, if you take a left, it is shops, lots and lots of shops. And if you go right, that's all the fun stuff. So the pool, the water slides, the zip lines, everything fun is over there. Since we are dressed right now, we're gonna show you the shopping area first and then make our way to the pool. One of the first buildings you come to on the left is this open air market. There's local um, artisans in here, local crafters. It, it's really, really neat. Let's go check it out. into these coconuts and then they core them out and then you can put lights in them and make little lamps, hanging lamps, table lamps, really cool. And then they also have some bamboo mugs that they've made. We found one, we're gonna get the little one just because for obvious reasons, it's easier to pack. Yes, and well, this one will look really good in our living room too, because it's got a, a very kind of neutral design and we can put one of those, um, reusable tea lights, so you know, the little electric tea lights underneath it. Yeah, cool. Of course, you have your Del Sol and Carrie Loha that you're going to find in every cruise port. But they're pretty cool stores. And then, of course, lots of tourist shops. So you can come in here and get your t-shirts and your magnets and your keychains and anything else you could possibly want that says Dominican Republic on it, which we're in need of a t-shirt. So let's go check it out. Super cool. So it's like a wind chime almost made out of a wine bottle and seashells. That's cool. We flew from the Mardi Gras and I finally met one of my favorite celebrities in Dominican Republic. Watch all y'all videos. This is how we knew this shit was going to be awesome. Hello, how are you? Good. It's so nice to meet y'all. I'm Takari. I'm Tamisha. So we watched EECC Travel's video of the ship tour of the Mardi Gras to prepare us for the cruise that we are on right now. Did it help? It did. Yes. Because we like going on the ships and just like walking like we know where everything right. is. <laughs> but y'all like the Mardi Gras? Yes. We love it. Awesome. Yes. We love it. We thought we were going to be lost the first two days. <laughs> so I scored a couple sweet t-shirts and tank tops. We got two. And then Elisa's going to get, I think, a... Christmas ornament. Oh, yeah, there's my other one. It's tie-dyed. Yeah. And then a Christmas ornament for me because we don't have one from DR. I need to start making a list of what all Christmas ornaments we have so I don't buy extras. <laughs> Good idea. We are big believers in trying local foods, and so we found a little cart that had three different items. We asked the guy, which would you recommend? And he said the chicken empanada. So let's break into this. Oh, yes. Mmm. Shredded chicken. It's got a really good flavor to it. By the color, you would think it's spicy, but it's not. And that empanada is just flaky deliciousness. Our daughter-in-law is from, born in New York, but her family is from Dominican Republic, and actually her mom and stepdad are living in Santo Domingo right now. So we have had real Dominican cooked food, and we were really hoping to get some here too. So. Mongoo is what they have made for us before, 
there's a little spot over here. Let's go see if Mongoose on the menu. We're not going to get it because we've had it really, it's really my good. Favorite, that it's delicious. There is no beach here in Amber Cove. You'll see a beach behind me that is not part of this port. You can go to it, but you have to leave the port, take a taxi, and like go kind of like on a roundabout to get there. But it is a free beach if you want to go. Last time we were here, we did go to that beach. So I will link that video somewhere around here. So you can get some Caribbean cuisine right here uh, with a nice view of the ship and that Amber Cove signage, perfect for a photo op. Uh, they got some live entertainment in there people are enjoying right now. They do not have mangu in the restaurant here. So, and we're not really that hungry since we just had the, the little snack, meat pie snack. What do you call it, meat pie snack? Empanada. An empanada. Okay, so this is the exit uh, for the taxis for rental cars, uh, excursions, whatnot. It's how you get out of port and get back in. See, here comes bus loads of folks now. So Amber Cove gets its name because we are on the Amber Coast and the most famous piece of amber is from Jurassic Park. And you can find that in the Amber Museum here, out there. Standing right here, you can see both of the ships that are in port today. We are on the Holland America Rotterdam, and next to us is the Carnival Mardi Gras. Our ship holds about 3,000 passengers, Mardi Gras holds about 6,000 passengers. You can definitely tell the difference in size. Stopped off to get a little cold drink. I went with the Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I've gotten to where I really like the ginger ale. A little sudsy. It's just a refreshing drink. Mm. Okay, so. We did the shopping and the eating. Now we're on the fun side where you got the pool, you got the zip line, you got more eating options here. Water you got music going on, a little bit more of a buzz over here. Let's go see what it's all about. This port goes way, way back. So whenever you first come in, you see the pool and you're like, oh, well here's the pool area. I need to be around here. But you may not be able to find the lounge chair near the pool. We locked up because we came later in the day. But there are so many lounge chairs. You're not gonna have a problem finding one. Finding one with shade could be an issue, but not a lounge chair itself. And there's the pool that's got, it's a big pool. It goes all the way around. It has like a lazy river almost. It's got a zero entry. It's got this kid's splash area that's behind me. There's bungalows over the water you can rent. There's bungalows by the pool you can rent. There's zip lining. There's a two, two water slides. There's really a lot to do here. Yeah, you can see behind me, it's just like blue lounge chairs as far as the eye can see. There are plenty of loungers here. I'm walking towards the back right now. Um, I've actually never walked back here before, so there's restrooms back here so you don't have to walk too far. There's a crew center, so um, special area just for the crew from the ships. Let's go take a look at the view. Those overwater bungalows are really, really cool. That's something I would definitely consider doing if we had a group of people with us. Leave a comment down below if you've ever uh, rented one of those. I'd be curious to hear your feedback. Over here by the bungalows are these floating beds. There's one, two, three, four, five of them, and they're just first come, first serve. And you've got a really good view of both ships from here, and there's a big giant chair. Pretty cool photo op. This is a nice place to chill. You can still hear the music from the pool, but you're not like right in it very relaxing over here. So over here at the rental center, they have kayaks, they have paddle boards, they have like giant pedal, pedal, pedalable bikes in the water. Some really, some like little boats that you can rent. Pretty neat if you're wanting like a day of a little bit of adventure and you can just paddle around the cove so there's no waves out here. This has been our spot for the day right here by the pool. So we've been watching the party all day. It's been really fun just watching everybody have a good time. Jason loves to people watch, so do I. 
really chill, but it looks like some rain is rolling in and it's getting close to get back on the ship time, so we're off. We are back on board from Amber Cove, got all cleaned up. Hair is still wet because, you know, we just had to enjoy the pool for a little while. But we are dressed and we are having dinner at Rudy's Seldomar tonight. This is the specialty dining restaurant that's all about the seafood. We've eaten here before on the Conning's Dam and it was one of the best meals we've ever had, so we have very high expectations for this. Okay. <gasps> that was my moosh boosh. And it, basically what this is, I just found out, this is a, a piece of bread with, uh, with some salmon in it, and I'm gonna give it a bite. Mmm, it's good. That's surprisingly delicious. Okay, so all kidding aside, the mouge bouge was fantastic. And this bread is fresh, warm, and it's wrapped in a napkin. And it's pre sliced. Oh, yeah. This is the olive oil and pesto. That's really good. Did you see that? So I got the smoked salmon, obviously. We saw the presentation. That's one thing about Rudy's is the, first of all, the atmosphere is just amazing. It's, it's a little dark in here, so the lighting's not perfect, but hey, the atmosphere is perfect. We saw the presentation, that was perfect. Let's give this piece of salmon a try. And that's a big piece for an appetizer. Yeah. Mm. That's what I needed after today running around port in that heat. This is this is nice. This is pleasant. Enjoy this. So I have the marinated lobster appetizer and it's already removed from, it's a tail and it's already removed from the shell and it's marinated with citrus. I can tell by the look on your face, you really like it. Okay, so I obviously, yeah, I can't lie if I like something or not. It's very different than what I was expecting. It's served cold, but um, the flavor of the lobster is really good, and that sauce that's on the plate is just really delicious. Check this out. So, escargot with a mountain of herbs. Look at this, look at this. A bulb of garlic, fresh, freshly hot, mixed up together with escargot, which is snails for you unrefined folks, with that, <laughs> with that garlic. Is it good? seen the portions uh, on the starters have been crazy so I didn't think I had enough room to eat this lobster until he brought it out now all of a sudden I'm hungry again holy smokes so I got me a piece of the main lobster but he said it's really Caribbean lobster dipping it in a in the butter I love the pots of butter the little the little copper pot of butter Clarified butter, I might add. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Look at that face. Mm -hmm. That's about as good a lobster as you're ever gonna get on any cruise ship anywhere. Portion is crazy. I have three fillets of Wahoo. Uh, you could either get it grilled, fried, or pan seared, which is what I did. And I love the utensils they bring. Like, that is the neatest looking fish fork and fish knife. But just watch how this flakes. Oh, yeah. Look at those flakes. Oh, my God. I love the little pot of butter. Dip that fish <coughs> in the butter. That is incredible. The fish on its own is good but the flavor that they get from the fish when they pan fry it is amazing. And I'm a mashed potato girl. 
we got the mixed berry souffle, and this is for two people. This is not a dessert for one. You saw how massive it is. So, oh my God, it's just so soft and squishy. So let me give it a try. So the, so the berries are kind of simmering underneath. Yeah, the berries are at the bottom, and then the dough is on top, and it rises. Okay, so the souffle part is very light. It's um, it just almost melts in your mouth when you put it in your mouth. And then the berries are tart because it's blueberries and blackberries and raspberries. So it's got a really tart bite to it. I'm not sure if this is my favorite. It's interesting, but Lori's looks like the best. It's an apple tart. What'd you get? Yeah. It's an apple tart. I mean, it's it, it's in the name. It is tart. <laughs> but some of the apples are cooked, but some aren't. I don't know if that's true to form. It's almost, it's almost soft on one end, but chunk, it, like hard on one side. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just not. And I'm an apple guy, but. Okay, that is a wrap from Rudy's. Well, I will say this. The food was delicious. The Caribbean lobster was good. The portions were humongous. Then before that, I had the, the smoky salmon, which you saw the really cool reveal. That was delicious, but all these portions were really big. So my lobster still tasted good, but I bet it would have tasted better if portions would have been smaller ahead of it. But this thing here, I opted out. I didn't even try it. But according to everybody else here at the table, they didn't like it. The dessert really was a mess for us, but the entrees were, and the starters were really good. So I would say that's kind of my final thought on that. I 100% concur. Yeah. Everybody kind of agree with that? So, there you go. What's next? Bad. Maybe an ice cream cone. <laughs>